Hey makers, this is Nara from Netflix. I hope you are doing well and staying safe. I'm sharing my wonderful experience with you from my retreat day at La Nivendoli, an Italian yarn company that I absolutely adore. The company is owned by two incredible women, Giulia and Stefania, who hosted an in-person event last week at Giulia's cashmere goat farm, Agricola Le Moiri. The day was absolutely fantastic. I spent my time walking in picturesque countryside, visiting the goats, indulging delicious local food and kneading among the cute goats in the pastures beside the farm. The event took place in Merana, South Piemonte. Giulia and Stefania went above and beyond to make sure that everyone had a memorable day. They created a special package for us that allow us to choose from a selection of all Lani Vendolis yarns and included a yarn bag containing skins of either the upcoming little collection of Summer Stormy in a storm blind fingering hand dyed. We enjoyed a delicious traditional meal, visited the farm and of course knitted a lot together. To top it off, I had the chance to interview Julia and Stefania and I'm thrilled to share what they told me in person. Hey knitters, this is Nara from Knit Leaks. I'm here in Italy again with two very special friends from Lani Vendoli in a retreat, very special day today. Spending the day with them and they will tell you more about it. So first of all, I'd like to thank you for your time <laughs> and uh, ask you please to present yourselves, the brand, the place and so on. Okay, thank you. So I'm Stefania and this is Julia, my partner. Hi. We are the owners uh, of La Nivendole and, um, oh, thank you. Uh, our brand started uh, almost three years ago uh, with the aim of um, using local fibers to produce uh, our own yarns and blends to, to knit, of course, uh, uh, and uh, with the experience that we had uh, developed with uh, a former uh, textile association uh, um, workshop and teaching. In these years, uh, we managed to develop our own bases, uh, all made with uh, Italian fibers. We have them custom uh, spun here in Italy too. And then we do the, all, all the hand dyeing and uh, the processing of the fiber that is kept under control at its stage. And uh, we are very proud to have uh, minimally processed yarn. And we try to let the fiber speak and uh, keep them as natural as possible with no nylon and no uh, treatments on the fibers. This is mainly what uh, what we do. What we are doing here today is a, a very special event that we started uh, last year uh, because uh, we are at uh, Julia's farm where she has uh, a cashmere goat uh, breeding and uh, we welcome people here for um, this sort of events where we can uh, stay, uh, meet the goats and eat uh, in the fields with them. Perhaps uh, I can let yes. Julia speak better about <laughs> Her place. Hi everyone. Um, so yeah, today uh, this event we called it uh, knitting with the goats. I'm Julia. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> we, my partner and I, have a cashmere goat farm. We started it in 2015, and it's located in Merana, which is a tiny little village of uh, less than 200 inhabitants in the south uh, of Piedmont. So, well, one of our bases of Lani Vendole bases, yeah. it's made of course with our cashmere. It comes from our cashmere goats so we thought uh, that would be nice for people to see where the cashmere comes from uh, 
how the animals live because uh, they live all year round in pastures. So we we thought it would be nice to make a day just to get to know the farm. Also, of course, there's um, one of our two studios because yeah, uh, uh, Stefani and I uh, live uh, work in two separate studios um, since after um, COVID. the COVID. So it's a way of gathering and meet uh, all together. So we have our first walk um, to one of the um, Kashmir goat fence in the outer pastures. Then we have a nice meal with um, homemade and local products of the surroundings. Then we uh, visit our lab <laughs> with all the yarns. <laughs> yeah. In the end, we, we come here down in the fields to, to knit uh, with the goats and the guardian dogs and just to relax and chat. Yeah. But it's fine because uh, um, as uh, our job is mainly online, it's really so good to meet people and uh, to, to share our passion with them, with knitters and to knit together. Yeah. We, yeah. We, we're really yeah. happy of such events. I heard as as a press yeah. journal, as a fiber journalist I heard that we have two breaking news for today oh, right yeah. some breaking news related to future events here in Italy and some breaking news about new color palettes yeah. so I'll ask Julia to to tell us about the future events and then Estefania to show us the new colors okay so we are going to make another um, knitting with the goats um, um, there's going to be another one in September, uh, on September the 9th. We've started last year to make these kind of um, events, small events of one day. So it's from 10, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. But we are uh, organizing more um, events and let's say small retreats or maybe a couple of days with also workshops uh, for next year. Stay tuned. And perhaps, we <laughs> perhaps we were thinking also about a, a combing goats yeah. day where you can try to, to see how to comb the the cashmere fiber where uh, with the goats and uh, how it comes from yeah yeah because yeah. usually I'm just saying it because sometimes people don't not really know it but um, cashmere it's the undercoat that we harvest in springtime with sheep you shear them with the cashmere goats we just comb them one by one with a comb like you, you would do with your cat or dogs so yeah it's another way of uh, learning more about the processing of cashmere and it's fun and so yeah we'll have a goat the comb uh, uh, comb, comb the, the goat, goat. <laughs> day <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, oh, it's the fun. Yeah, let's yeah. show. Let's show it. Uh, the breaking news of today. So today we are launching this uh, little collection that uh, we made uh, on uh, one of our bases, a stormy blend in fingering weight. The base is uh, called Perla, and it's a natural uh, foam beige. Uh, color due to the fiber contained of course we decided to hand paint a few shades we developed six in the end and we we just had in mind a sort of watercolors just to let the the fiber um, color the natural one uh, come out, pop out here and there between the splashes and the speckles. So today we are launching Aquarelli, that is the Italian name for watercolor, of, of course. So when we happened to name, we had to name the, the skins, the, the shades, of course, because as we always do that with all our colors. And it's a fun part. And it's a really fun game. We really had in mind, uh, it just uh, came out suddenly, graphic comic. novel, uh, yeah, comic uh, creator. creator, that is uh, Hugo the, the novels of uh, Corto Maltese, that was uh, an iconic pirate uh, travel all over the world. And uh, in some mm, drawings, there were these such beautiful watercolors, uh, uh, tables. And so we said, OK, that's that's the, the meaning of our collection. And so here they are. We have, um, as I was saying, six shades. I can show them perhaps properly like this. They will be in the shop starting today, but they will be, of course, with no... Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. The quantity are limited in the meaning that all our bases are, uh, of course, uh, spanning limited regarding the stock uh, and the fiber availability each year. So uh, there's plenty, I think, but <laughs> as long as we have them, <laughs> they can stay in the shop, of course. 
So this is uh, Favola di uh, Venezia. Yeah. And it has this uh, sort of uh, deep pink splashes and speckles. Then we have um, Occidente, that is, it's well, of course, a peach. a peach and hues. yeah, very soft hues. This is Escondida. 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 Yeah. It's more about yellow and teal and uh, yes. deep green. Then we yeah, have, we have uh, okay. an appuntamento. Yeah. Ah, oh, beautiful. Yes. Teal and violet and purple here and there. Yeah, really subtle yeah. and really soft. Yeah, yeah. And actually, all shades can be matched because we kept some elements of color yeah. common, so they can be easily grouped. And this is uh, una ballata del mare salato. Adoro. <laughs> <laughs> it's so beautiful, I love it too. <laughs> yeah, Great. it's all about blues and Asia. And then there's Le Celtiche. Yeah. That Very is, green. Yeah. Yeah, With totally lots green. Of, uh, different greens, yeah. but also some speckles that yeah. Um, yeah. reminds to the other shades. Uh, yeah. Of blue and yellow and yeah. purple. Purple, yeah. Mm -mm. Great. And so that's, that's all of them. I would like to ask you please to send a, a message for the people who are interested yeah. in joining the retreats, in knowing more sure. about Lani Vendoli okay. and how okay. they can find your yarns sure. and the new collection. So well of course we have a website yeah. that is uh, www.lanivendoli.com. There is a shop uh, there and uh, you can find us on Instagram of course, searching for Lani Vendole always. I think so, the best way to be yeah. you know updated to all the new collections and new events. yarns and events events that we make is by sus subscribing to yeah, our newsletter sure. you can find it of course in the both, on, on both the websites sources. yeah and on instagram then too. on instagram yeah in the link in bio we are also <laughs> in some um in retailers course, all, all around the world, the world yeah think. and of course we also ship worldwide and you can find the list of our retailers on our website yeah. too i think they all stock all the bases can you tell me the next festivals you are going to be in 2023? It will be in Itit, yeah. in, in Lyon, Lyon, in September. Yeah. We are very excited because it's uh, our first time there, so we hope to meet a lot of knitters, yeah. new yeah. and old friends. And then uh, we're going to, I don't know if we can say, but to Barcelona as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and in the middle, actually, we're going to uh, another event in oh, Italy yes. that is quite yes. close yes. to yes. us. Yes. It's yes. by the sea, so the location will yeah. be really Super lovely. Super beautiful. And yeah. it's in Finale Ligure, yeah. and it's on the A7 and, and 8, 8 of October. October. So, so if you want yeah. to have a, a weekend uh, in Italy and on the sea, it will be a lovely yeah. occasion. Yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. Thank you, girls. Bye. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so, you so much. much. Bye. And that's all for today's episode. If you enjoy it, we would be grateful if you could give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Remember to turn on notifications so you can see our future content. And if you are on Instagram and on Spotify, give us a follow there too. Thanks so much for your support. We appreciate it. We can't wait to see you next week. And we hope that you are excited to hear more about our upcoming knitting adventures and events.